I do suffer from hormonal pimples almost every month and this is how my face looks like at present after using this magical ingredient azelaic acid. This was after almost two weeks of usage and it did help to clear out the blemishes and even out my skin surface and yeah this is one particular ingredient which helps to get rid of acne without getting any dark spots so that's why i try to test it on myself and bring my experience to you guys hello friends welcome back to my channel and today's video is about acne i've talked in the past about salicylic acid i've talked about benzoyl peroxide but i have not talked about one magical in ingredient which i discovered after going through a lot of videos over the internet and that is not very much talked about in india and that is azelaic acid so yeah without further ado let's get started with today's video so i will go according to the timestamps given over here so according to the topics and i will leave all the timestamp and the corresponding topic on the screen and also in the description box below so you could skip to that part whichever you are interested in and so yeah let's get started so first of all azelaic acid is a natural ingredient which happens in barley which is found naturally in barley it is a dicarboxylic acid it helps fight acne and most importantly it helps fight post acne hyperpigmentation so yeah if you are suffering from acne and also dark spots at the same time this is a magical ingredient to try out my video is greatly inspired by sam banting videos then dr gray and many other doctors which who upload uh, very regularly over the internet. Now azelaic acid has many such advantages. It can be applied even during the daytime and also at night time. So that is one of the most advantageous thing with azelaic acid. Though it is a prescribed medicine in India, actually in Australia it is widely available over the counter without a prescription. So azelaic acid comes in two varieties, one in 10%, the another is in 20%. To experiment 10% one, I started off with the 10% one on my face and I have seen a great improvement on my skin texture, on my acne and also on the post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation which generally happens when you apply benzoyl peroxide on your acne. Now I have already done a video on benzoyl peroxide in the past and there are many comments about how doctor recommend that cream and yeah I am really grateful for having discovered that cream but at the same time it leaves some dark spots behind which are really very difficult to get rid of if you use azelaic acid it is it helps prevent those post inflammatory hyperpigmentation and so you can avoid the dark spots on your face it is anti-inflammatory it is anti-comedonal that is it reduces clock pores and it is antibacterial so it helps to improve the overall skin texture of your face it doesn't cause antibiotic resistance so when you apply ben benzoyl peroxide or salicylic acid or any such ingredient your face gets used to that ingredient whereas in azelaic acid it doesn't happen like that so your face doesn't get used to azelaic acid and it doesn't stop responding to azelaic acid which prevent rosacea and melasma these are hyperpigmented conditions of your skin which are actually a result of acne or any such inflammation on your skin or like prolonged exposure to the sun which causes all these things so yeah you can also get rid of all those by using azelaic acid it is very well tolerated i started off with the 10 percent one and then i proceeded with the 20 percent one and you could see my face didn't overreact my face is very sensitive otherwise but to azelaic acid it has responded very well it doesn't cause any reaction to pregnant and lactating mothers it acts very well with other ingredients so if you are applying a retino a or a retinol at night this azelaic acid actually helps to actually absorb that ingredient much and it actually help those ingredients to work much better when you apply azelaic acid in the first place so yeah these are all the benefits now let's come to the dosage you could apply it in the morning and also at night before going to bed now in the morning i generally wash my face with water and then apply a moisturizer and then apply azelaic acid it is recommended to use azelaic acid after washing your face directly please don't use any estrangement or toner onto your face when you're using azelaic acid and yeah the same can be repeated at night you're 
are very dark and if you have a tan skin it might cause hypopigmentation that means it might cause some white marks on your dark face which might not be a very suitable thing for all of you so people who are having a tan skin please be careful before using this product onto your skin because it might cause hypopigmentation where there is a loss of pigment on a part of your skin where you are applying as a lake acid okay so this is the most exciting part of the video where i share my experience with both the 10% and 20% one now to start with and to be very honest the 10% one is well tolerated on my face the 20% one is a bit drying and i do use it as a spot treatment and not on my entire face and as you can see my face is bare i haven't applied any such makeup on my face any such filter also is not applied on the video i have not applied anything and i just wanted to show my bare face to all of you to show how it works and it really really works quite well i will highly recommend the 10% one and this is quite moisturizing at the same time it is not very drying and helps you to get rid of dark spots and acne at the same time so this one is over and i have ordered a second one it is yet to come i have also used the 20% one but i do apply it just overnight treatment and on my spots and not on my entire face and yeah the next morning you are going to wake up with a dry pimple and it doesn't leave a dark spot unlike the benzoyl peroxide benzoyl peroxide literally burnt the spots wherever you apply and i have got many such comments on my video which i have produced earlier and yeah so i will highly highly recommend to go uh, go with this aziderm 20% if you are suffering from very high number of pimples also please please consult with your dermatologist and doctor i am not a doctor i am just a youtuber and i am just excited to share my experience with you guys and i will post uh, all my photos over instagram if you want you can follow me over there i will leave all those in the description box below also i am trying to write a blog post on my blog so yeah i will put all my blog post and also please do subscribe to this channel your support means a lot to me i do get a lot of views but most of you don't subscribe for some reason or other please do leave your review comments over here if you feel that anything is missing i would love to improve and implement all your thoughts and ideas in my videos so yeah that was all about today's video see you in my next video till then bye bye and please do take care of yourself